everyone, my name is Brianna and today I'm here to do a review of One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. This is her follow-up novel to Red, White, and Royal Blue which was so, so cute. And it actually comes out in May but I was lucky enough to get a copy of an ARC from a friend that let me borrow it so shout out to Colleen for letting me borrow it. Ever since I found out the premise of this book I have been very, very intrigued to read it because it just sounds like not- it's- it's a romance, you know? So it's definitely like in the same vein of Red, White, and Royal Blue, like same genre, all that. However, it adds in this kind of time travel-esque, not really travel, but just like loop kind of situation going on that makes it like this supernatural kind of thing, That, but it's just this one thing. Like the rest of the world is perfectly normal. It's just there's this time loop that our love interest happens to be stuck in and I thought that was a really interesting premise to make like this book that for all intents and purposes you could have just taken out the time part of it you know and just made it like this girl that our main character sees on the subway every day and like never finds her outside of the subway or something like just don't give her a phone or something like that so I thought to add this in was really really interesting and really like shows how creative Casey McQuiston is so I'm super excited for what her next book's gonna be about because I'm like will it have something like this will it just be like a contemporary romance kind of thing first off before I get into my thoughts on the book we've got to talk about the cover because the cover is gorgeous red white and royal blue was one of my favorite covers ever I think it's so cute and it's the style of covers that I personally love where like you have the characters on the book I know some people don't like that but I'm more inclined to like it if it is like cartoon versions of the characters which happens a lot in romance books so it's not surprising but I do like when you can distinctively tell like this is this person this is this person like it's not just like generic brunette girl and like hot guy smirking you know like I like when it's like literally like okay this is who this is and this is who this is so the cool thing about this cover too is it's the bi colors. It starts, you know, like when it goes down, it is the bi colors, which I think is really cute and like it's those colors look great together. Like bi flag is one of the prettiest flags out there. They're all pretty in their own way, but I just mean like aesthetically looking. It's one of the prettiest ones like the colors the pastel it's a pastel dream is what i'm trying to say um but then you also have our main characters jane and august on the cover and they are very distinctive and you get the vibe from them so jane is on the train can't leave the train august is off the train like looking at her but then it's also like the little details like august is wearing the scarf that jane gives her in the beginning of the book and that's how they first meet it's just really cute to tell that like whoever designed the cover also really loves the book because I think that's like basically it's like fan art of the book you know it's like someone who really read the book and loved it if they then were to draw something I feel like that's what the cover would look like so I really really love that. The book itself though I've touched on the issue of time travel which it's like weird because it's like more like a loop like she, Jane is just stuck in this loop from the 1970s so the whole premise is August has just moved to New York she's left her kind of life of investigating with her mom because her mom is focused primarily on investigating her missing brother who's been missing since like the 70s and she's moved to New York for the first time she just found an apartment she found a job and the apartment I could go on for days about the people that live in the apartment I love them so much Nico, Myla, and Wes I love them so much. They are so like just who you would want to meet when you move to New York and who you'd want to share an apartment with. I love them so much. So she's going there for school and on her first day to school she meets Jane on the subway and from there every time she goes on the subway she finds Jane and just as it progresses she you know starts to develop this friendship with Jane and then they find out that Jane actually can't leave the subway. She is from the 1970s and has somehow like like looped into the present time and is now stuck on this train and it's just a really interesting premise because it takes so much things that like it adds conflict to where there normally wouldn't be conflict so like trying to ask her out like she can't leave <laughs> getting her to meet people is like you have to bring them on the train like it's just really interesting because it adds these layers that like on like a book like had she just not written about this like it would have been like okay yeah like, let's get off the train but it adds this whole cool dimension to it. I know what you're thinking too because I thought the same thing if we're stuck on a train what are we going to do about the sex scenes? It's I'll just you know no. <laughs> it is you're like especially in a pandemic you're like oh this is a little hard to read because 
gross, but I'm sure grosser things have happened on subways. So I loved the book. I think it is such a good follow-up. It's different enough to red white and royal blue just in terms of the world and stuff but I feel like the characters are all very well fleshed out like it truly felt like reading like a group of friends like every character had their own thing and the way they related to August in different ways was so funny like um Nico and Myla are in a relationship and they kind of have it together as much as you can at 25 in life so they're kind of like her like life coaches you know where she goes and advice for them because they've got it a bit more figured out than she does and Nico is also psychic she learns from like the first page of meeting him literally and then Wes is this trust fund kid who like has disappointed his parents and doesn't want to do what they want to do so he's been cut off and he's super grumpy and just like doesn't really open up to people and he has this cute side kind of like will they won't they thing going on with their neighbor across the apartment that's really cute going on and it's just like I like how they were all fleshed out and how their conversations literally when you would read them felt like conversations you would have with your friends. Like you know when you're at a party and like you have that moment or not a party but just like when you're hanging out with like a really good group of friends where everyone gets along and the conversation's easy and flowing and like you kind of just like take a moment to sit back and like watch it and be like wow this is like my people this is my group of friends and I love that we all get along and it's so like this is what I've been dreaming about since I was like a little kid is having a friend group like this and I feel like that's what the friend group in this felt like like you literally feel like just like an added person at their kind of conversations and in their apartment just like smiling and being like I love these guys they are so so cute so I loved that like just the whole atmosphere it created especially I feel like in a time where we really can't go out and do things or we shouldn't even if we can I felt was really great because it like you know like when they go to parties when they go to clubs it's like you're there with them and it's kind of you experiencing it through them and also like the way it's very this book is very sensory heavy which I liked because that's kind of how Jane connects to her memories is through like sensory stuff so it's very much like how Casey McQuiston describes things as very like smells and sights and feels and you get to experience it all through that very very well because of how detailed she goes into all of it and I really appreciated that like it literally there's a way she put on Twitter describing her book where she was like it's basically like a sugar rush or something like that and it definitely feels like that like it's just so overloading with all these sensor things but not in a bad way it's like when you go like to a party or something and you're just having so much fun and so much is happening that you're just like almost elevated like on another plane I feel like that's what it felt like and then Jane and August's relationship I don't want to dive too much into because I don't want to spoil it but it is very very cute and very sweet I think they're kind of in the beginning opposites attract in a way and just that like what August admires so much in Jane is quality she wants more in herself so through their relationship they're able to kind of balance each other out and propel the other one to be more of what they admire you know so I feel like August herself really comes into her own not only through Jane which I think is a really important thing but through her friends as well because I think it shows that like a love interest one person like that you're in love with on a subway because <laughs> she can't see her all that often isn't like enough to fully change you like it, it's her whole group of people it's Jane it's her friends that she lives with it's her co-workers I like that it shows like the whole atmosphere around you can really change just by like being around people that make you happy so I think that's really really sweet and then Jane and August yeah I just I can't wait for the fanfic of them and like the fan art of them once everyone can read this book I think it's gonna be really awesome I do think towards the end the book started to drag a little and just that it kind of had like five different endings where I was like okay it's done okay it's done okay it's done. and like I liked the actual ending just like the previous three endings before that I was like we, uh, let's get the show on the road so that's probably the only like critique I had about it but other than that I thought it was so well done so phenomenal and it's gonna be a great like summer read like late spring summer read when it comes out in May so I am so so pumped for it so if you have read this book or are looking forward to reading it please feel free to leave your thoughts about it down below in the comments also make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time bye